this is a uh, preliminary statement. This is the beginning of my massive video that I'm going to give you a, that's consisting of a huge bundle of, vid vid of videos detailing the ABC of collection defense. That's a mark for D. You're a defendant. Or you're representing a client that's a defendant. Actually, it should be called the ABC of collection control defense, and we'll see why. When you get a lawsuit, that's the worst time. So you're feeling like crap. What do you do? You take control. How do we do that? First, you want to set the tone. And you are setting the tone by you can communicate with the plaintiff. This is your communication with the plaintiff. Uh, in 15 days, every settlement, every discussion, you tell them, hey, this is being given for the purposes of settlement. That must be every conversation you have. Keep in mind, this is for the purposes of settlement. So they can't use whatever you say against you later. Secondly, they're going to try and get you to admit things. Think about when you get pulled over. What's the first thing when a cop says to you, do you know how fast you're going? If you say anything admitting to that, you just started an issue. Hey, he said he's going 45. I got him 55. Or I'm not, you should not admit anything <laughs> to a policeman or to a plaintiff. And you tell them every time on March 15th, let's say that's the 15th day that you've set. So you have 20 to 30 days to respond to a lawsuit. Max depending on your state. Don't wait that long. Keep telling the plaintiff every time you call, you've got 15 days, you've got 10 days. I'm filing on the 15th. So then start saying, for the purposes of settlement, I just want to talk about, look, you say, oh, a thousand, would you take 350? You've started the settlement discussions for the purposes of settling. Make sure that's clear. But be hard and fast. If you don't get a settlement by the 15th day, file your answer. Why? Because it's about setting the tone. They do not respect you. They are looking for a default. They will engage you to keep going beyond the 15th, so you'll lose all this time, and eventually they'll even make up a deal. Hey, maybe we'll do this. You won't answer the lawsuit, they've got you. Suddenly you're in default. Hard and fast control, the 15th day. Then you file your answer. You now have this window between the 15th day and the last day. And when you file an answer, the court gets involved. You don't want that because you have less control. You now have a third, third party. You don't want another witness to the situation. You can't settle unless the court allows you to in whatever they're bringing you in. And the first thing they bring you in on is your pre-trial and between the 15th day and the pre-trial day you can keep engaging in settlement discussions the plaintiff that's the plaintiff deal will respect you a little bit more because you did what you said you're going to do up until that point they had no respect for you if you get to this point at the pre-trial date you will be asked to settle to discuss with the other side settlement between when you got the lawsuit and you made that first call and that time, you have gained the respect of the other side. You said you're going to do something. He tried, he or she tried to engage you in getting you to admit stuff because they'll try to get you to admit stuff. Don't do, don't admit anything. You set the tone. You will get a settlement there most of the time. Whether it's me who will get you, who will get clients, probably a better settlement because this is what I do. But you're going to do much better than if you settled the case because th that first day you called them, they're going to go, eh, we'll give you $10 off or you owe us the whole thing, but we'll give you 600 payments. So you kind of want to settle, the, to not settle the case, to set that tone for the long run if you can stomach it. And you can. They will, you just become one of 150 cases they got to do the closer you get to the pretrial date and the more respect. It comes together for you. You're no longer this person that they don't even recognize. 
but you do become part of many cases he's got. And if he can get rid of a case, that's the best time to settle, right before the pretrial or on the pretrial. If you don't, you're going to discover it. That's okay. There's room to settle there, but there's also, you can get set the tone by getting into their underwear, really asking the questions they don't want to answer. If that doesn't work out, after your witness list, by the way, the pretrial is where the court set the scheduling dates. And part of that is the most important thing is discovery. How long do I have to discover? And you can use that to ask the questions they don't want to answer. Suddenly they'll have a better deal for you. Or they're focusing on one thing, which is the summary disposition motion. So you've got to do something in this window that stops that. Because not only are you facing a summary disposition, the court is on their side. Why? Court doesn't want this case. It's got 150,000 cases or whatever. They have directives from the legislature to finish cases in a certain amount of time, depending on your state. So unless you've got a really good defense, if you did, you wouldn't have got that far. Unless you've got a really good counterclaim, and we can get into counterclaims. And we will. This is the ABCs of collection defense, but we're going to be counterclaiming. And this is just a schematic of where I'm going to go. If you beat the summary disposition, you get the final pretrial. That's good. You get the final push where the court really gets involved, either making you go to a settlement resolution place or a mediation. And that has its own issues, too. But if you are able, unable to settle it, you go to trial, baby. You don't want that. I do because I'm nuts. But you don't want that um, in your situation. Don't be... My thinking is 10 years down the road, if you beat them at trial, you're going to settle all this. And that's what you do. But you, you've got one case. So this is messy, but... Take away just from this intro to the ABC of collection defense. It's all about control versus less control. Less control is the court. Now, I am going to have on my member, collectionstoppermembership.com website the ultimate of Bumble. Bumble? Oh, my God. Bundle. <laughs> so every stage of the game, I've done already done a video on it. So you're... You've got your research. That's what my site's all about, is providing research. Every stage of every freaking part of this, even trial. Like, I got a heart tugger of a story in that trial video. Maybe, hopefully you don't need to get to it, but I'm gonna just do the ABC of collection defense or con control collection and create a bundle of every video for one price. It's gonna be power pack value. This is the intro, okay? This is the intro to the ABC of Collection Defense. I hope uh, some of this made sense. I hope this gets you excited. And I thank you for your attention. Sorry about my awkward.